Hello and welcome to Bo Beats and today we are checking out some stuff from Racket that they sent over for me to review. These are DIY kits. The Racket drum synth, the Baby 8 sequencer and their little mixer and we're going to check out all of them in this video. So this is what the kit looks like and honestly I have no idea what's going on inside that little bag because I don't really do DIY stuff. I actually had Racket assemble my units to save some time and to alleviate some of that fear that I would blow up my studio. So this is what a finished Racket drum synth looks like and the build quality is actually a lot better than you might think. On the side of the unit you have a trig input that you can use to send gate values to the unit as well as a pitch CV input that you use to input pitch values from a Eurorack or say a Beatstep Pro or a Keystep. On the top of the unit you have the attack switch. On this tries to mimic the sound that a drumstick does when it hits the skin. Main controls are VCO shape square and triangle, the sensitivity for the piezo input or the trig input, the K from 50 milliseconds to 5 seconds, pitch or frequency of the VCO from 30 hertz to 3.5 kilohertz, and then we also have the sweep direction which controls the amount of frequency sweep applied to the VCO and you can also select the direction of the frequency sweep. We also have an LFO with a rate control that controls the frequency of the LFO, 2 Hz to 400 Hz, and a depth control which controls the amount of LFO applied to the VCO. You can play it either by tapping it or by connecting some kind of external sequencer using CV and gate. So here I am hooking up the key step into the drum synth using the CV and gate outputs from the key step into the trig and CV inputs of the drum synth.
we have the baby eight. It's a small eight step sequencer that is actually a bit of fun using. I tried it out using it with my Euro rack as well as hooking it up to the drum synth and we are going to look at that further down the line as well. So the Baby 8 sports a clock input, a CV out, and a gate out. You also have a frequency knob, which is basically the BPM of the sequencer. And the second knob works to lengthen the gate pulse, and you can actually turn it into a sort of semi-envelope if you want to, for example to use with your Eurorack. And pretty unsurprisingly, the knobs control the pitch of each step. And lastly, we have the Racky Mix. It's a five channel mixer. You have four channels with the controls, as you can see, and one auxiliary input, as well as an output. I should have cleaned the room before I shot this video. So who should get the Racky Drum Synth? Well, I can think of a couple of different people. Number one, Somebody who really likes DIY kits or, or somebody that wants to get into doing DIY synthesis because it's kind of an all-in-all -all package. So I think it's pretty straightforward if you want to get started. Number two, somebody who enjoys small synths that you can make funny noises with because as you've seen, this one can make some pretty cool noises beyond kind of the standard kicks and, and, and sort of tom sounds that you could make with it. And I think the same goes for the mixer and the sequencer. If they address a need you have in your little mini setup and you enjoy these small synths and small utility items, these are interesting purchases. And number three is somebody who likes synths to sample. Something original that you sample into, say, a dig attack in order to make your own sound kits or whatever. And I think that's really interesting because this one definitely has a character of its own. You can make some pretty cool sounds on it. So if you like to sample, say, kicks, maybe a weird bass sound, some effects noises, this could be a fun product for you. So reason number four is the reason why I make these videos about smaller synths from indie developers. I just want to support them. So if you want to support a little company that makes cool synths, pick something up. And in effort to support these smaller companies, I bring you a new little segment that I call Bo gives his advice on how to improve upon stuff and things. Sort of. With no technical training whatsoever. But here are some ideas on how to improve or expand upon the drum synth. So while I think this is cool, I do have a suggestion. I would love some kind of modulation input and maybe a modulation output. Think about it. Some way to modulate, say, the rate or the depth of the LFO and maybe some way of taking advantage of the LFO and sending it out of the unit somewhere else that would open up the functionality of this little synth. I would also love to see a paired filter unit and I think this is a concept that hasn't fully been explored yet having like these small standalone filter units. I know there are several out there but small inexpensive analog units it's really cool. I know the Mini Jams has a filter in it. I have it over here somewhere in a box and it's pretty good. It's actually pretty cool. I think it's the most useful unit in, in, in that series of products. And I think more should jump onto that and make like filter units because you can integrate them in pretty much any setup and that's why it's so cool. And my third suggestion would be to find some way to mount a battery on the unit. I'm not a fan of having like a cable sticking out of it. Now, of course, with this being kind of DIY, I think it caters to an audience that, you know, can manage, can manage to, to fit it somehow somewhere else. But 
for the ones the bite assembled, I think some way to mount the battery would be really cool. So this was my little look at the Racket products. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check them out. Link is in the description. I think it's a good cause supporting your indie developers for sure. And yeah, my name is Bo. This is Bo Beats. If you like videos about synths and music production and some creativity advice and maybe some gas gear acquisition triggering videos, you should press the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. And if you want to support the work I do, you can always go over to patreon.com slash bowbeats. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a super pleasant day. Thank you.